Hey again, everyone. All right, it's time to get your child even more comfortable with balancing on the ice. And to get them to this point, check out our last video about getting your child engaged and ready to go. All right, so we've already covered how to get your child falling down and standing up, but a really neat game to play with them to get them practicing it even more is melting snowman. So here's how it goes. You're gonna get your child to pretend they are a snowman moving around on the ice. When you say melting snowman, your child can melt in a super silly way or as carefully as they'd like until they are completely melted onto the ice. And then you're going to give them a number, any number. Start with a high number at first, like seven or eight. We're gonna go with eight today. They have eight seconds to stand back up. If you get to zero, that means they lost, but we're gonna count super slow for them to make sure they're winners. All right, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Hey, we did it without even getting to zero. Get them skating again, call out Melting Snowman, and then call out a new number. And the idea is, as you continue and go on, the number gets lower and lower until you're down to one. They need to stand up in just one second. It gets super crazy and silly, but the kids really, really love that one. All right, let's get a little bit more in depth with their balance though. You've got your child up, they're standing, they're falling down and standing on their own. Maybe they're doing a few little marches. Here's a few things you can do to improve their balance. I like playing a little game where I say things like, touch your knees, touch your toes. <gasps> These definitely are not my toes. And you can try and trick your child by doing the same thing. They're so caught up in the funny uh, idea that you think your shoulders are toes that they have no trouble reaching way down to touch the correct body part. And what that does, it gets them really comfortable with bending and stretching their knees. And yet again, comfort level getting back down to ice level. All right, so once you've explored that, we wanna get their feet moving again. In the last video, we talked about them making little tapping noises with their feet. Well, the next step you'd wanna take is trying to get them to do those same taps while making a circle. This can be super scary, so let them take their time. They're gonna take those little tapping steps all the way around in a circle. And the idea is they're exploring their hips, moving over one foot and then over to the other as they are lifting each skate off the ice. Even harder than that, get them to turn the other way. Super important to keep both sides equal. Okay, the next step is taking those same taps side to side. So again, we're in that ready, balanced position with our knees bent, our feet shoulder width apart, maybe slightly closer, hands out in the front and backs as straight as we can. Same thing, we're gonna tap to the side and tap our feet close together. Out to the side, back together, out, in, out, in. You can get them to go super fast or really slow. And then of course, we gotta get them going the other way as well. Once you've taught them all those moves, what I like to do is plop them all together into a super fun circuit. And that's where those awesome bingo dabbers come into play again. If you check out on the ice over here, I've already drawn a circuit, which is basically a fun pathway that the children can follow, keeping them super fun and excited and eager to keep skating on the ice because it gives them a purpose. So here's how this one works. I have some little bath toys here that I'm going to use. They're just sea creatures, foam shapes. They came in a huge pack at Dollarama. I'm gonna plop them into this circle here. Toss my little carton out to the side. We don't need that right now. And here's how the pathway starts. They're gonna use all the skills we've covered. 
in this big circle, your child can fall down. They can have some fun playing with the shapes. And the idea is they choose one. Once they get one in their hand, they're gonna have to carefully stand up the way we practiced. Nice tall body with those tree branches, keeping their core really strong, showing their muscles, putting one foot up on the ice, hand on their knee and the ice, pushing up tall and keeping their balance. Now they're gonna take those tapping steps following the marks on the floor. You can make different symbols like I did. Right here, I've got pictures of feet. And the idea is when they get to the feet pictures, they reach down and touch their toes and then stand right back up. They'll keep going to the next symbol. We got a big swirl here. You guessed it, you're gonna get your child to turn, march on the spot while they're turning. Then we get to some horizontal lines with happy faces. You're gonna get your child to turn to face the happy face and then step over each line. You got it, it's the side steps that we worked on earlier. We got a little squiggle here. It just means they need to do a half turn so they can see the other happy face to do their side steps. Check it out, we have made it to the ocean. We're gonna drop our fishy into the sea and let's go back to the start and get another one. And so on and so forth. Putting all the skills together into a super fun pathway and incorporating toys lights the kids up. They have a blast doing this kind of thing. And again, it can keep them on the ice for a much longer time. I think that's it for this video. Hope to see you in the next one. See you later.